Hey folks doing out there in television land here on the Kingdom Purpose channel tonight. We're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the divine forgiveness of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is going to cite the scripture in St. John, the 8th chapter, the 7th verse, uh, where Jesus Christ was brought a woman. They brought a woman to Jesus Christ, was caught in the very act of adultery, cheating on her husband, in the act of doing it. She was in the middle of doing whatever she was doing with the guy. And Jesus, and they, they brought him to a site in Mosaic Laws that such a person should be stoned. Because at that particular time when God spoke to Moses and had him uh, write these things down, they were trying to outroot, outroot some things that was going on in Israel. And and it was a, it was a big problem. And, uh, and they... <clears throat> brought this woman based on those old laws that Jesus Christ put asunder. And Jesus Christ defended the woman. Caught in adultery, cheating on her husband as, 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 as high, high treason. And Jesus Christ did not only defend the woman, but he stooped down and began to write in the dust on the ground. We don't know what he was writing on the dust on the ground. And we don't know uh, exactly what it, whatever it was that condemned the Pharisees that brought him the woman. And they left him and the woman standing there. And uh, a lot of preachers, some people, some brothers, some saved folk, would have tried to hook up with the lady for later on. Jesus Christ didn't do that. He told her, he says, woman, your sins are forgiven. Go and sin no more. That's what he told her. Jesus Christ defended the woman, the divine forgiveness of Jesus Christ. Forgives her her sins and lets her go. You can never do too much to be forgiven by Jesus Christ. I don't care if he was a murderer. Paul was a murderer. He murdered Christians. He was killing Christians and, and Jesus told, turned him into an apostle on his way to kill more Christians. And he turned him into an apostle on the road to Damascus. And uh, you can never be, do too much to be defended by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ wants us, didn't come into the world to condemn the world. But the world through him might be saved. He came to save us, not condemn us. We're already condemned by the law. Some of us. He came to save us from the law, from sin, from hell, from the devil. That's what he had to beat was the devil. Okay. And when I got saved, when I rededicated my life, I got saved at the age of two. But I went back out into the world and began to sin. And I got deep into sin. I, you heard me preach one message uh, a few uh, weeks ago, as this year is our 13th week uh, on Kingdom Purpose Channel, 13th week so far. And uh, you hear me preach deep in sin while desiring to be saved. I was deep in sin while desiring to be saved. As when the Lord rededicated me, I was in the bed with two women. Apostle Titwell. Say, oh, the Bible said, well, he was in the bed with two women. He going to hell. Jesus ain't going to forgive him. He ain't going to forgive him. He came not into the world to, do, to condemn the world. St. John 3, 17. He came not into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. And we've just ended the word portion of this broadcast. And we're going to go into some music for the next uh, four, for the next 20 minutes. We got some music I want to play. Uh, this, the fact that this is Black History Month, we're going to start out with some contra controversial piece that I wrote and recorded called Just Another Brother. And in this beginning, seeing this Black History Month, I, I wrote a paper in high school 
And in that paper, it was about Malcolm X and Dr. King. For the final the exiting paper from high school, we had to write a paper in order to exit high school. And some people were about flowers. The other black, I was, I was in a mostly white class. And the other black guy wrote about football. I wasn't going to write about football or baseball or basketball. I just said I was going to write about Dr. King and Malcolm X. And when I began to write this paper, I began to read. I went down to the library and started studying for the paper. And I read, I read Malcolm X Speaks and I read the autobiography of Malcolm X and the autobiography of uh, Dr. King. And in doing this, I found out that uh, these guys were doing the same thing. It was just a part of the country that they were in that caused them to see it a certain way. And I had to change the name of the paper. Dr. King and Malcolm X instead of Dr. King versus Malcolm X. It was, it was, it was the, the violent approach versus the nonviolent approach. But Dr. King couldn't be violent in his part of the world. They would have got wiped out. It wouldn't have been nothing. He they, they couldn't have got violent. And, and, and Malcolm X couldn't be nonviolent in his part of the country because it would have been put down. Some people wouldn't, wouldn't have followed it. So he had, they had each, each one of them had to uh, <clears throat> take on a uh, different approach to the uh, thing. And I wrote this song based on that paper that I wrote. It's called Just Another Brother. Real deep type of think type song. Here it is. Black History. Just another brother.
And that's just another brother. I wrote that a few months ago. And uh, we're going to play it for Black History. We also have another holiday coming up, Valentine's Day. And I wrote this particular song for that, Valentine's Day. And it's a nice little song to make you laugh. And it's, uh, I'm going to play that Hey You Hey. fornication now. song 20 years ago. It's a uh, phenomenal song and people get saved listening to it. 
And once again, I have Hey You Hey, we got it queued up. I think this is the right vibe. We're gonna, we're gonna try to play that song, Valentine's Day. song and somebody said what apostle titwell doing this broadcast this christian broadcast talking about a love song well when adam first saw eve over there in genesis the third chapter what did he say he said flesh of my flesh bone of my bone with god standing there with god standing right there adam says flesh of my flesh bone of my bone what did he say he said we <laughs> so we, we're allowed to, 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 to love women. God wants us to love each other and to uh, honor women. 
at all costs and to uh, put our emotions into it. But this here is the end of this broadcast. www.tipwellministries.net And if you would like to donate to this ministry, you can cash out. Dollar sign, Tipwell Ministries 5. Cash out. And uh, if you want to donate to this ministry, keep us on the air. Help out some people. We got our friend in, in Kenya, Sarah Awi. How we go Ogutu. And uh, she's raising a sibling because her mother died from COVID. We sent her some money this month. And we want to send her more money. We want to send our other partners money. This is Apostle MD Tipwell. Wish you all good guys from Pleasant Dreams. Good night, good night. And stay on the wall.